And in this scripture he said, but when the spirit of truth is come, in verse 8, he said they will convict the word of sin, of righteousness and of judgment. So the reason you and I chose God is not because we are wise, it's because we are convicted. And if we will continue to remain convicted, it will be because the Holy Ghost is working in our hearts. I'm telling you this so you have assurance. Some of the things you've seen and some of the things that have happened to you are enough for you to walk away from God. But any day you wake up and you still believe in God, know that the power of the Holy Ghost is at work in your life. Because most of you think the power of the Holy Ghost is at work when you are feeling something. This thing is beyond feeling. There are realities in the spirit realm. Every time you wake up and you can still do the will of God, you can still serve God, and you can still participate with the people of God, know that there is power at work in you. In fact, Satan is surprised that you have not fallen. He knows what he has saturated this atmosphere with. You are the one who don't know the forces going on here. Even the air is attacking your faith. The air, the air you are breathing, there is corruption in it. If you begin, if I have time to show you about spiritual energy, you'll be amazed what happens in territories. There are people who enter this territory and their prayer life shut down. Nobody spoke to them. They just came to an atmosphere. So that you are still serving God here, it means there's so much power at work on your inside. Because that's the first ministry of the Holy Ghost. So you may not feel anything, but if your conviction is intact, tell yourself, I'm full of power. Because it, it takes power for me to stand with God in a corrupt generation like this. Number two, ministry of the Holy Ghost is, this is where it begins to affect Christians in particular, is the ministry of transformation. I call it the transformational ministry of the Holy Ghost. Second Corinthians 3.18, it says we all with open faces, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, he said, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. By what? As by the Spirit of the Lord. The reason you are being transformed from glory to glory is because the Spirit of God is working in you. And if you study transformation, transformation has four cadres. The first is renewing of mind. Now, when you look at the scripture, the reason you are not cramming scriptures like a theologian, rather scriptures are impacting you and speaking to you, is because when you are reading, the Holy Ghost is talking to your heart. So the Holy Ghost is the agency of renewal of mind. Because what you believe before is a type of power. And for that thing to be uprooted and a new thought and ideology is formed, is another dimension of power. So the Holy Ghost helps to renew our minds. Now, when the Holy Ghost renews our minds, He now mortifies our flesh. Because your body is a slave of your mind. So the Holy Ghost wants to deal with your body, but it begins with your mind. The moment is able to transform your mind, renew your mind, he now brings power to mortify your flesh. So you can walk in a land where everybody is parading iniquity, but you don't feel like it. It's not that you are struggling. Some, you are mortified. The way cops are put in the mortuary and the body is frozen, that's what the Holy Ghost does. So he mortifies your propensities. So when you see people who are living right, it's not because they are strong, it's because they are helped. The Holy Ghost has mortified the flesh. And then when he mortifies the flesh, he now proceeds to transfiguration. Because there's a glory in you that the Holy Ghost wants to bring out. But you must be transformed for that glory to manifest. You know, when Jesus went to pray, the Bible said the fashion of his countenance was altered. His raiment began to blister. Now, God made it visible because he wanted the people to understand how Jesus operates the way he operates. It's not only on the Mount of Transfiguration that Jesus emits glory. Everywhere he went to, he emitted glory. Because the Bible calls him, in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, the brightness of his glory. But God made that glory visible for his disciples to see and be convicted. It was a reality he carried all the time. Now, everybody in whom the Holy Ghost functions, there's a glory you carry. And if you begin to grow in that glory, you will discover that you can come to a place, although you are not talking, people can be interacting with God. That's why most of you have gone to places before and people walked up to you and asked you if you are a man of God, if you are a woman of God. They perceive the aura that you came with. It's, it's part of the transformational ministry of the Holy Ghost because the idea is to make you a glory carrier. 
Because our world is full of darkness. The way we can shift the cloud is to carry glories that shut down what Satan is doing. And so when five of us who carry, carry glory gather, if we as much as pray and we begin to stir that glory, we can alter demonic programs in that territory just by coming together. But many don't know that all of these things are the activities the Holy Ghost is carrying out on their inside. If you know this, you can come to a place and you have audacity to think that place will be changed because you are there. Because if you come, God comes. Because the glory of God is now emitting through your life. It's what the Holy Ghost is doing on your inside. And then finally, at the end of time, transubstantiation takes place. Where the Holy Ghost exchanges your mortal body for your celestial body. So all of this is part of the transformational ministry of the Holy Ghost. He uses the word to transform your mind and then he mortifies your flesh and then he, um, he brings glory out of your spirit and then ultimately he transubstantiates you and changes your mortal body and gives you your heavenly garment. This is the second thing the Holy Ghost is doing in the life of the children of God. And this is why we must all cooperate with the Holy Ghost and walk in his power. See, the power of the Holy Ghost is not about healing the sick primarily. We heal the sick because of our faith and because of the byproduct of glory that flows from us. But what is happening in us is beyond healing the sick. What is happening in us is so strong that it can affect six systems and territories. There's a glory that your life commands. That's what the Holy Ghost is doing on your inside. The third ministry of the Holy Ghost is the revelational ministry. The reason you are able to know the things of God is not because you are a scientist. There are many scientists that are critics. The reason you are able to know the things of God is not because you are a philosopher. There are many philosophers that their job is to disprove everything God says. The reason you are able to know the things of God is because the Holy Ghost makes them available to you. In John 16, 13, Jesus said, I have many things to tell you. He said, but you cannot receive it. He said, how be it when the spirit of truth is come, he said, he will guide you into all truth. He said, he shall not speak of himself. He said, whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak. And he said, he shall show you things to come. Now, if I had time tonight to apply this teaching, <laughs> you'll be amazed. If I'm dealing with this subject, he said, he shall show you things to come. See, this is why a Christian cannot be disadvantaged. If you wake up in the morning and there's an accident, the Holy Ghost can preempt your spirit that there is danger. And because of that, he can avert that accident. So he, this gives you an edge into the future. And that becomes the advantage you have over the world. If you are going to have a crisis in your job in two weeks' time, Sometimes not because somebody is even attacking you. Sometimes because of a deficiency you have in an aspect of your preparation. The Holy Ghost can preempt you, get you to read a book or get you to prepare in that area. Not because you are supposed to write an exam, but he has seen something coming. And by the time you walk into that meeting, you'll be shocked that that thing you dealt with passively two days ago was actually the Holy Ghost preparing you for the future. So all of these things are dimensions of the spirit. There are conversations the Holy Ghost will take you into because of something he wants to do sometimes in two years. You may not even, your mental faculty cannot prepare you for that. But because of that conversation you had, two years later, you have an advantage over people who credential wise are far ahead of you. But how you got to know that simple thing is because the Holy Ghost ordered your step into a place. So the job of the Holy Ghost is to show you things to come so that it gives you an advantage over the devil. It's a ministry of the Holy Spirit. It's called the revelational ministry. He doesn't just show you the things of God. He shows you things that gives you an advantage in the world where you are. See, when people and Christians in particular neglect the communion of the Spirit, they do it at their own expense. A Christian is not supposed to be taken on our words. A Christian is not supposed to be disadvantaged. God lives on his inside. And God is not just there dormant. There is a work he's doing on your inside. Your job is to participate and partner with him. Paul said the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God 
and the communion of the spirit when it has to do with the holy ghost active participation is required there is a, a revelational ministry that god has put in place to give you an advantage and see sometimes you come into a situation and you you didn't take advantage of the holy ghost's work in your heart you can excuse yourself and take five minutes and begin to engage the holy ghost and knowledge can come this is how powerful what we are talking about here is he said when you need to speak he said don't bother what you will say he said open your mouth i will fill it up with words i had a friend who was invited as a consultant to speak to people and he didn't really know the magnitude of the meeting until when he went there <laughs> you know when you have done something for a while you have built some pedigree somebody can recommend you and on the on, on account of that person's integrity they say okay they will consider you and you just show up you think it's one of those meetings when they sat down and he started seeing the ceos that were coming in <laughs> that was when he knew that he he didn't come prepared he was in the wrong place what will i do here heat started coming from you know what there's 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 a heat that begins from your forehead when that kind of heat starts, know that you are in trouble. He didn't know what to do. He, he, he was confused. And it dawned on him that the Holy Ghost lives on his inside. And the guy just put his hand together and began to pray in his spirit. Pray deep in his heart. For like 10 minutes he was praying. When they now said, sir, it, now you can speak to us. He said, even at that point, he didn't know what to say. He just stood up and said, well, gentlemen, that was all. He tapped open and he spoke for two hours. Things were just aligning with highest level precision as though he studied what their problem was. When he finished talking, everybody started clapping. They said, how come? Why didn't we think of this? All of the recommendations he gave, top notch. They applied it. Everything was settled. And many systems collaborated because the guy spoke by the spirit he spoke by the spirit you can't be disadvantaged the holy ghost is on your inside but you must give him allowance to reveal things to you your advantage is, the, is to the degree that you know and some knowledge is not based on fact it's based on strategic information and those information is the Holy Ghost that gives them to you part time. That's what the Holy Ghost came to do on your inside. To bring you revelations that will change your life.